Holiday Trainer for College Station, Texas. She is a biology and equine study student at Texas A&M University. She has been working with Mustangs for the past three years, and she enjoys promoting these American legends. Her <laughs> hey Deuce, is a five-year-old BLM Mustang from Snowstorm Mountains of Nevada. He was a wild horse up until Camille adopted him from the Bureau of Land Management three months ago. He has been a remarkable example of the trainability and intelligence of the American Mustang. Girl. Good job, Camille. Hey, y'all. It's Camille.
So um, if you watched this far, first of all, thanks, because that wasn't the most fun run ever to watch. Um, Jude was still definitely very green when I brought him to this show, but that's okay. I only brought him as a learning experience and for practice. But anyways, um, if you follow me on Facebook or on Instagram, this won't be news to you because I'm better at updating Facebook and Instagram. Um, but if you don't follow me, first of all, what are you doing? Go do that right now. I'm Camille's Mustangs on both Instagram and Facebook. But anyways, I have some news to update y'all on. So this show was back in August, and after the show, Jude went home to his new adopters. This was something um, we'd been planning for a while um, so it wasn't a surprise or anything like that. Um, I always, I adopted Jude from the very beginning, knowing he was going to be a train and resell project. And I figured I'd be marketing him to people I didn't know. Um, but I didn't realize then how many of my close personal friends would fall in love with him because he's just such an amazing horse. So a family that I'm very close to fell in love with Jude. They'd been looking for another horse, and they realized that Jude would be the perfect fit, and I agreed that Jude would be the perfect fit. So um, we'd been planning for months that Jude was going to be adopted, be reassigned to live with this family. Well, um, a few months into Jude's training, I got an email, one of those regular emails you get from the Mustang Heritage Foundation if you're a member, and it was about the Extreme Mustang Race, which um, is less known than the Extreme Mustang Makeover. It's kind of a smaller scale operation, but it's a competition that recently adopted Mustangs are eligible to enter um, and it's held alongside the world finals of the Extreme Cowboy Racing Association. So um, if you haven't heard of Extreme Cowboy Racing you should definitely look that up. Basically what it is is it's a timed obstacle course where you're judged both on your horsemanship and your time to get through a pattern. But anyways, I got this email and I looked at the dates of Mustangs that were eligible to enter and it was from like April to August. Any Mustang that was adopted from April to August of this year was eligible to enter. Well, I adopted Jude in May. So I kind of like skimmed the email. I was like, oh, that's cool. Jude could be eligible. Then didn't think about it until... I took him on his very first trail ride. If you haven't watched that video, I vlogged his first trail ride. And if you go watch it, you'll see that he was absolutely amazing. He saw a bunch of things that he'd never even seen before. He went over obstacles, he went over bridges, and he was just, he just completely blew me away. That's when I started thinking, hey, I think I'm gonna enter Jude in this extreme. Mustang race. So I was a bit torn um, because the Extreme Mustang race is November 9th and 10th of this year and I hadn't planned on keeping Jude that long. I had planned on having him be gone before school started in the fall and um, getting my extreme Mustang makeover horse, Luna, and only having three horses, so Luna, Aurora, and Tuxedo. I didn't think that I could train four horses at a time, two of whom for a national competition. So I called up Jude's adopters, and I asked them what they thought. And they were super supportive, super encouraging. And I decided, you know what? I don't know where I'm going to be at in November, but I'm going to take a leap of faith and I'm going to sign Jude up for this extreme Mustang race. So I did it, sent in 
my application got accepted and suddenly it was like this is happening so uh, what has been going on for the past two months was after this competition that you just watched Jude went home with his adopters I decided trying to train to like four horses during the school semester was way too much for me so he went home with his adopters he stayed with them for two months and then I picked him back up a few weekends ago and while he was with his adopters they rode him and they did a ton of groundwork which he needed so I got him back a couple weeks ago um, he still needed work under saddle but his groundwork was super super much improved so I've been for two weeks now tuning him up under saddle and I've got one week left to prepare for this extreme Mustang race so um, that's just a little bit about what's been going on um, I probably rambled on way too long but if you are interested in watching the extreme Mustang race will be held during the extreme cowboy association world finals in Glen Rose, Texas, at the Somerville County Expo Center, um, November 9th and 10th are the days that I will be competing with Jude. I am very excited, very nervous, and overall I just hope that I can show Jude to the best of his abilities and show people what Mustangs are capable of. So anyways, if you made it this far, thank you for watching and listening. Um, that's just a little update of what's been going on. Oh, after the Extreme Mustang race, Jude will be going back to live with his adopters. They are going to be his forever home, and he's going to be super, super happy with them. I'm really excited about that pairing. And um, also get to see him from time to time. Like I said, his adopters are very close friends of mine and they don't live too far from me. So I'll be able to keep tabs on my rony pony. Anyways, um, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe. And if you haven't, follow me on Instagram and Facebook because I am terrible at updating YouTube. Anyways, this is Camille's Mustangs signing off.